Hi, this is Mark with Pro Acoustics, and today we're going to talk about acoustic treatments. Acoustic treatments are basically uh, foam panels. Uh, sometimes they've got fiberglass, perforated wood with fabric lined over them. And the whole point of acoustic treatments is to reduce the reverb and echo in your space. So if you ever walk into a gym and you start talking and realize that the sound is bouncing around all over the place, you can't necessarily hear the person next to you, acoustic treatments can help with the intelligibility of the conversations that you're having to make sure that you're able to be heard, your announcers are able to be heard, and the person next to you can have a conversation with you without having to ask what a bunch of times. So just a few different places that can benefit from acoustic treatments. A lot of times we see them obviously in gymnasiums, sometimes in churches, uh, retail stores, grocery stores. I've seen them in bars, hotels, um, even classrooms can benefit from it. So what are a few different kinds of acoustic treatments? Well, you've got wall-mounted acoustic treatments and these are just what they sound like. You mount them to the wall, there's ceiling clouds. Ceiling clouds will hang from the ceiling, usually down a few inches from the ceiling. This provides a space so that the acoustic treatment can both catch the immediate reflection, which is the sound that's coming directly up to it, and as some of that sound passes through and bounces off of the ceiling, it'll get captured on that top end as well. So you end up getting almost twice the absorption rate that you would with just a flat wall-mounted panel. Uh, some other types that you'll see are stratus clouds. These are also a ceiling-mounted uh, panel, but they tend to be mounted in a square or rectangular shape, usually to target certain reflections for an engineering or production suite. And then the next kind of ceiling type that you'll see are baffles. These are usually hanging from their side, straight down. Uh, and these are good at capturing just passing sounds, crowd noise, you see this a lot in gyms. So in front of me, you're gonna see, I've got a few different kinds of panels here. The first three here are what we call Broadway panels. These are gonna be usually one to three inches thick. You'll see these a lot mounted on walls inside of churches, retail spaces, gymnasiums. Um, they mount very simply to the wall, as you can see on the back here, it's just got a exposed area. They have what's called an impaler, which is basically a plate that you mount to the wall. It has two spikes on it, and those spikes will go straight in through the back, and you just punch it onto the wall. Easy installation, it takes usually about five minutes per panel and then you end up with the absorption improved inside that space. Different colors that you can get are black, gray, beige, and paintable white, but these are not necessarily what you're gonna want if you've got a place where a lot of high impact comes in. This right here looks like the Broadway panel, but this is a Hercules panel. Hercules panel. These are more impact resistant, so if you've got a loose ball or an elbow inside of a gym, or you're putting them up inside of a classroom, Kids sometimes knock around, these things happen. Well, these panels will be able to take a little bit more of a beating. They're not impact proof, but they should be able to last a few years longer uh, despite getting knocked around a bit. These are available in gray and beige. And then the final one you got here is your paintable white. These right here are just what they sound like. You can paint these to be any color you want. Just be aware that you have to pay attention to how you paint them because the paint will affect the absorption coefficient on this panel. Um, and basically, if you put too thick of a layer on there, you end up with a more reflective surface. Another question I get a lot is where do I place my panels? Biggest thing to remember whenever you get your panels is to try to keep them evenly spaced. Don't get them too close to the ceiling or too close to the floor. Think about where the sound is coming from. If there's a lot of vocal action happening where people are speaking. You want to try to keep them centered to where people's faces are going to be because that's where most of the energy is going to be captured. Uh, don't bunch them up too close because then you're going to leave big exposed areas on the reflective surfaces and it won't be quite as effective. Um, other than that, evenly around the room is typically what I tell folks. Another question that I get a lot is what is the difference between soundproofing and acoustic treatments? So soundproofing is an acoustic treatment. But soundproofing requires that you're able to prevent all sound or nearly all of the sound from leaving the space. These 
typically are only found in like major universities or places where they, they have the money and resources to actually work out the math that goes into completely deadening the room. Do acoustic panels work? Yes, they absolutely do work. The more panels you have, the more effective it's gonna be. Typically, you can expect to see around 15 to 25% of the surface area covered with panels before you get a decent reduction in echo. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe for more. I'm Mark with Pro Acoustics. If you need any further help choosing acoustic treatments, go ahead and stop by ProAcoustics.com. Have a great day.